and welcome back to the Swedish Maker. Today we're gonna do something really cool. We're gonna make a 3D face scan or a head scan with a simple camera. So I have this old uh, Canon ES500D, it's a simple DSLR and I'm gonna use that to take all the images and we need to take about at least 150 good images I guess. So let's get started. My wife helped me out with this one taking 200 photos by just walking around snapping photos from different angles. This is the hard part getting photos that are sharp and without shadows. We also took some extra photos of the sensitive parts around the ears, the neck and on top of the head. And once you have all the photos, it's time to head back to the computer. So we start off by opening Photoscan Pro. So start by going to Workflow and add photos. Once imported, we have this chunk of photos. And we're just gonna go over to the Workflow again and we're gonna hit Align Photos. So here we can go all the way up to the highest, uh, that's gonna take way too much time. So I'm gonna go with high, still gonna take a lot of time. And um, I won't do any th settings in the advanced section. So just hit okay and let's wait it out. So now that the scan is done, it's uh, you can see the the face here, and all of these points are all of these points are um, are small snapshots. And inside here, you can see the face, and you can turn off the camera with this icon here. And you can zoom in, and you can see all the individual points here. So uh, we need to remove all the points that are not in the head or surrounding the head and it looks like my beard has grown as well we need to cut off some of that and you do this by choosing this freeform selection tool and you can just draw a rough shape around this the body and the head like this and you use this um, crop tool here and you remove all the other points around the object. Uh, then we want to circle around and remove all of those points that were been behind it. So we do it like this. Now uh, we draw a circle around this and instead of the crop tool we use this erase tool. Now we can zoom in And we can remove as many of these surrounding points as possible. I think that looks good enough. So now I'm going to continue with the next step in the workflow, which is build dense cloud. And I'm not going to go with the ultra high here. I mean, you can definitely go with a high uh, quality option. And in the depth filtering, I'm going to go aggressive. Uh, okay. And once again, we have to wait for this to work through it. Okay. So now that the dense cloud build is done, it's time to go to the workflow once again and the next part is we're gonna build a mesh but before we do that we can click here at the dense cloud and we can actually see the the dense cloud image that was created and we can see some of the things I missed to delete and I can do the same thing again like mark mark it 
and delete it. Now it's time to go to the workflow and click build mesh. Surface type, I'm going to choose arbitrary, the dense cloud and the face count I've set to medium. So once the build mesh is done, we have our final image. Now you actually have a 3D model and from from just taking a lot of photos you have this amazing 3D model of your face and you can use it to 3D print it which I'm gonna do in the next video I'm gonna use it to 3D print uh, my head in a real size the last thing we need to do before we can use this is to go to our 3D model over here so we go to 3D model, export model you name it anything uh, we save it and in this box we can actually export the texture if you want to I don't need it now so I'm not gonna do that but you just hit OK and it's gonna save in the next video I'll show you how to use mesh mixer to create the STL file that we're gonna use for print see you in the next one I hope you liked it please subscribe if you haven't um, now it's time to go to the workflow and click build mesh and the, it all crashed it bloody crashed